Hello friends, my name is Renuka and today I'll show you um, this die of the month and uh, this is from the Spellbinders Maker Smart and this kit came in uh, every month I subscribed to it and it is like the, the set of dies, they only send the set of dies and they give some kind of inspiration, some kind of examples that how to use these dies and um, on the YouTube also they have the channels and they showed you how you can use those dies now uh, i'll show you how this dies looks so these are kind of stacked together but these are a little bit different and these are the leaves so i went ahead and i cut out some of the leaves so you can see that by the way these will cut and emboss the uh, leaves also and uh, for this heart shape i'll just zoom it out a little bit so you can see in details and for the heart shape this bigger heart is like this kind of cutting this shape then for the this one they gives the dot so there is like stitch or you can do the stitching or you can put something here or it will gives a, a kind of effect and then for this last one it's kind of small hearts in that inside that and it will gives a embossed effect I'll show you maybe you it will catch in a white so these are the things and they kind of nest together very nicely if you want to do that and if you want to do that you will get this kind of frames so this is the first frame with those two dies and you will get this one in it the last one something like that i just want to show you how it works and uh, now we'll make some card with these dies so if you watch my whole video uh, you see that I bought this recollection paper cast drop from Michaels. I really like them. They are not quite a heavy one, like they are layering weight 65 LB, but um, still it's okay for me. And how I put them together, just whatever they came in a package, I put them just like that. I just open them, and now you can see here there is these, uh, these are the new one that came with this mirror sheets, and uh, it's quite a um, glossy sheet here and some of the pattern papers so for this um, you will get the now I hope you can see better so for this uh, you can see that there is a color combination here and it's already color combinated all of the four and five with this is really look nice and how the big the color combination there is a look but if you want to you can just check it out on Pinterest you will get lots and lots of inspirations on the color combinations now for making uh, today's project i'm planning to use these colors and see how they look together um i dyed it out some of them before but uh, i just want to show you that um, there is the another way to use your uh, card stocks and how you can get more from it so these are nice one and now i have these all of colors with me so I don't know how much I will play with them but I find this kind of colors and maybe I'll use some different cardstock I'm planning to use another from Dogcraft creation and that is called the flora uh, floral pavilion it's like awesome one they're having the beautiful double-sided papers and some textured papers in them and uh, you don't see this uh, in any of the haul cause I bought very long ago and uh, I think I bought this from Bitsy so I choose two pattern papers from there one is like this texture one and it's like a fabric texture and this one is like a shimmery one it, when light catches it gives that golden effect so these kind of go well together with this maybe I'll need to add a little bit of green with that but um, I'm kind of uh, um, happy that how it uh, it combined together so now um it's time to do for the cards so first of all we make one card which is quite a simple one and uh, i bought this thank you card uh full box and it's like a uh, hundred of thank you cards and it's a note uh, size and now i'll show you how you can use this to convert these thank yous in many other different ways in my upcoming projects and uh, now i use just those small dies this one and I cut out these two from the silver paper now I will just put them together here something like that so now that thank you will cover it up and now you can place any sentiment like 
love you or uh, something like um, happy anniversary or anything like that and uh, now you can incorporate with those with another like I put these little bit of florals here so it is kind of giving, getting more dimension to it so this uh, will get me a very simple um, card and now if you want to make this little bit more interesting then what do we do I'll just pick one rough paper tapping paper here and now I'm gonna add the ink on them I don't know these papers are a little bit glossy so how the ink uh, blend with them really nice or not but um, I just want to use whatever I have and this is the abandoned coral from the distress inks and I put out a little bit of distress ink and I'll start from the middle and I will just see that how it's looking together and it has become a little bit squatchy I think so maybe this will not work here but still I will add more and more colors to see and sometimes it took a little bit time to dry these dyings and then they'll give the nice effect. So I'll keep adding them. And uh, now you can see, you can make one thank you card with this also. This is a really nice way to um, add. And now I want to add more colors. So I will add this... Uh, Cracked statue and uh, another color I'll add uh, I think the salty ocean so I'll put that aside and I'll put this here I'm not much worried about those uh, spots and scotches here but if you do the same technique on the any normal paper uh, obviously the ink will blend uh, very nicely and uh, it will give the gorgeous effect and I just want to try these so I decide I just decided to use them and I'll put a little bit of rough paper here because I don't want to ruin the back of the card and I'm kind of putting more and more ink and after that I'll just put this I like this look actually the way it's looking right now it's really beautiful I place this paper aside and now it's time to add those hearts now i want to make a really simple card here the first card will be very simple so i will add a little bit of glue and just layer those and now at this moment for giving more dimension you can add the fun foam or the any double-sided sticky step here I'm using the fun foam I'm kind of uh, seeing that how much I want here and I'll put the very sticky side on the and then I'll put again a little bit of glue back of it and then I'm kind of placing this little bit down now I want to add some more here I'm using Tombow Mono glue and I'll add these just tucking inside those so these are very whatever I'm making is very simple one it is not big rock and science in that and I'll speed up the process afterwards just use the case, case, case craft um, 
happy anniversary sentiment and i thought it would be nice idea to um, use the same uh, inks and blend one panel and stamp that on the a small cardstock and I will just foam mount that and for this I'm using a dark pink magenta color pigmenting and which is from studio G uh, I just picked those from Jones I think in a dollar bin so you can use the memento inks also any ink will do here uh, i just kind of picking the ink which matches the whole theme now here i make this really simple i just put little bit of fun foam behind the panel and stick all this stuff by using a tombow mono glue but uh, you can be uh, more creative at this time you can add more ribbons or you can put um, some dots um, there like embellishment and something like that now these two hearts what we emboss will catch a uh, distress ink very differently i just want to show you and my distress inks are out so i just um uh, put a color on them and then now the third die we have with us is that uh, stitch uh it's like a piercing all around the heart and i thought it would be nice to use that piercing and i'm using here a dmc's golden embroidery um for, uh, thread and i'll just um I speed up the process and i'll just skip the process i just uh, go through it once while and um, many times and i just put little bit of cello tape behind the panel cause i thought um, I, i'm kind of struggling with that that it's coming out and then i'm just um, uh, going through those, those threads uh, trick here is you don't uh, have to make a big threading panel means just took a half one and a half or half a foot uh, or 12 inches uh, thread so it will be uh, really nice to do that and then after doing all that i just skip that process i put in fun foam behind that panel so i can erase um, that panel behind now you can see that how beautiful it looks now i decided to use this golden paper pattern paper which is from the dove craft i showed you before and i place that hat in a such a way that i can get a second panel uh, so in this way you will use the main piece and die piece um, negative piece also now uh, i choose one uh, red cardstock from recollection and there are two shades of red and uh, i just kind of seeing that which color is uh, matching with those red flowers so after that um, I just cut out the excess paper and I'll put the whole panel on that red one um, and uh, I'm kind of shifting between the two cards but uh, I'm not doing much here you can see easily see that what I'm doing now after um, uh, making that cardstock I just add a stitch detail with the golden ink paint it's just from uniball and then I'll add a straight white line with the white pen a white gel pen uh, somehow i skip that part um, and then i'll stamp the sentiments here i'm using with love sentiment and it's from i think yeah it's also from the dove craft and uh, basically any sentiment will do you can use die cuts here i just put the color box golden ink and put that with love sentiment so this card will like a universal one you can use for anything and then um i just add all those panel so first of all i use this pattern paper heart uh, which i just take and then i use to adhere the uh, raised platform on that and then in the middle i use that golden mirror foil for that um stock and it in this way you get 3d look and i'm using those small embossed leaves also which i die cut out and some volume leaves which i die cut out from the prima golden volume now here i just escaped the process of um, cutting and embossing because it may took a long while now i have this um, washi tape uh, golden color and it is pretty thin so i thought it, it would be nice accent to add those on the two corners so it kind of frame it out the whole card together so this completes one card um and now from the left over what that um, um the negative piece of that hard die i will use again the red one and i'll stick the whole panel on them uh, and then here i'm using the five by seven uh, card base 
and uh, I'll attach all this directly on the that white panel card base you can use the fun foam if you want to I just want to make it very simple and then I um, just uh, cut out this um, one of that dotted uh, heart shaped eye from the silver paper and again a white um, heart from the uh, paper it's like white paper any but um, I didn't uh, go and emboss these so I get a plain uh, white background and I just add the MFT sentiments uh, your heart is something like sparkly and then um, I just dip that whole heart around the edges uh, with that golden color box ink and it, it looked like I embossed it but I didn't it's just a fake and then I add little bit of blinks um, you can add as many as you want but I just want to make it really simple so I didn't add anything more there and I just put that but you can add less ribbon or something like so these are the three cards now let's jump to the another card uh, you remember that we colored those two hearts with the salty ocean i went in coral color now i'm choosing here a different color in the shades of orange and it's um um i'm just kind of using one of the hard die shape and um, i will not use that die shape but i'm using that like it's a guideline for the coloring and um I'm kind of going around so uh, now you remember that at the first of the video I showed you the color combinations I'm kind of using that color combination here and uh, after that um, I'll use the uh, pistachio crack uh, pistachio color for all around it this is the dry mermaid uh, dry marigold color and um, this kind of orange uh, in look and then i'll use the cracked pistachio all around the uh, that stitch card front and uh, this is uh, bristol smooth uh, watercolor card stock and i am um, using salmon's stitch rectangle the largest one and after that i'm kind of um um uh, adding more colors like pistachio all around it and now you can see those two hearts like their their embossing is really pop up and uh, it's looking really all together very nice that how it's looked the soft color and um, whatever we colored before you don't need to throw that you can use that heart shape also although i'm not using that but just i'm searching here for the perfect card base and i'm kind of placing those two hearts here now you can make this card as a versatile as you can make the happy anniversary or with love or you can add only one heart and you can say love you mom or love you dad whatever you feel like um i just put little bit of distress ink there and i just um, like the look of the panel here and now i'll add only fun foam on the one of the back of the hearts and one i will stick directly on the panel now i'm kind of saying here that what i want to do so i'm placing things like golden tape or something like that and then finally i decided that uh, i'll just stamp the happy valentine day from the same mft stamp and uh, it's um kind of i i already dyed out some leaves with the same bristol white color uh, white card stock and i will ink those with the same um, dried uh, dried marigold and cracked pistachio in color i'm just uh, sponging them i'm just smooshing ink on on them so it will it will give a really nice and soothing effect and after that i decided to add the um a sentiment here i'm using the salmon's is grid to just see that um, it should be in proper place and straight whenever i have some kind of uh, doubt that it will be not straight enough i directly use that grid uh, although you don't have to but uh, it's just it gives a nice effect um perfectly stamped image so after that i stamp it twice and then i decided to add back uh, um main cardstock will be like i choose the darker shade of uh, pistachio color 
and it is also from the recollections and I add just little bit of uh, tape there and added all the panel watercolor panel to the card base and now at this moment you can add a fun form also to raise dimensions but I didn't and now I'm placing those things all together and uh, now I thought that I need some more leaves so I decided to add dried marigold um, and I just sponge them and just put them I didn't spray water on them because I already um, just put little bit of ink so I didn't do do that and just I use a liquid glue here and uh, sometimes I'm struggling with that um, it happened with my glossy accent too but yeah uh, all days are <laughs> same sometimes and then I just add the these two hearts together uh, now after these uh, I decided to add um, something more so I just put out the pretty pink posh 4mm dew drops and I put the uh, them with the use of glossy accent um, you can put only gl glossy accent drops also that will also look nice or you can put new drops also um, but I really like the way it turned out now uh, it's kind of um, uh, something blank for me so I decided to add um, a clear Vincasella pen and I'm kind I'm just putting dots on those hearts I'm not putting whole color um, whole layer of Vincasella there I just putting uh, little dots and just spray little smush of the uh, on these leaves now I am um, kind of obsessed with this new idea I just got an idea that how if I draw the hearts with the Vincazella when uh, light catches it will look like the heart and otherwise it will not so I really like that if you want to use that technique just go ahead with the silver or golden it will look more nice you can see that technique in my peacock cards also and now at this moment I decided to add a, a watercolor um, background to it and then i decided i will just uh, smush thing because it will be too much for me so i decided which stamp i'm using and these are the just right stamps and kind of sentiments and i have those from long time i don't know where i bought them i just forgot <laughs> maybe i purchased them from jayons or michael's um i really don't know then i just use uh two colors like uh these are the pigmentings and which came in the salmon kit so one is the sky blue and kind of peacock blue and other is the orange one and uh, uh but i decided to go with uh, the darker one the same studio g magenta ink and i stamp that i love you and you can see those pencil marks i didn't rub that but you should do that um so after that i decided to add a uh, sky blue color uh, to my heart i don't want to add red or green so i just pull out the salty ocean color here and i just blend um uh, the color now here you can see that I, I i kind of get the halo effect there uh i just put a darker on the outer edges and lighter and white on the sentiment centers now after that i just cut out this panel um and uh, uh i just uh, kind of uh, measuring the things that how i want to i want little bit uh, of border on both the sides so i trim off the excess and i'm kind of just measuring and eyeballing a little bit and uh, then when i'm quite uh, happy with that I decided to use in a background that uh, olive green color um, cardstock which is kind of matches to the leaf of this cardstock and then I pull out two more distressing colors that abandoned cool oral and um, the olive green color and uh, it's like uh, I'm kind of pulling the colors from the same panel There's, there is a little bit sky blue also so I, I'm just kind of saying that which colors match perfectly and then I choose that uh, so there is color is not much important just choose your pattern paper and then select your colors now for those heart I just decided to go with that dark color the greenish color and for the outside I will just go with the red color now at 
uh, this moment uh, don't be overpowered with coloring so otherwise you will lose that white um, portion of the card and i just add a little bit of very light handedly then i put a liquid glue all around it and now i have lots of these die cuts which is kind of matching with my panel like the white golden and the uh, red one so i just drag it out those leaves some of them i emboss some of them i don't uh, just become a little bit lazy for that time <laughs> and then i'm just putting those all around that heart so at this moment you can turn this heart into the shaker card also but shaker card is like too obvious for me i don't want to make shaker card here so i decided to make one panel card now i use just that back side of the paper to put uh, those um leaves more in place and then i just cut off the excess if they are hanging around the panel and then uh, i decided to add the double sided foam tape here and uh, i think i bought this from amazon it is not that 3 mm scotch tape it's a little bit inexpensive because nowadays i'm doing too much crafting and i'm just uh, need more and more fun tape uh, fun foams or double sided tape so now i'll attach this panel to the what we made here the inside of the window and before that i decided to use this twine now this twine is kind of very neutral in color and then it's having little bit of golden it's from the recollection and it's from the christmas collection if you watch my haul video i show you that how i get the christmas collection things on 70% from michaels and um, i i really like Uh, the color like it's very neutral it's off white color and having little bit of gold in that which which kind of perfectly matching with this theme and um, i just wrap that little bit and make one kind of cheetah's knot there i didn't make any bow bow is too obvious for me so i i decided that i i do something different for this time and uh, i just add that uh, ties and then i attach it with the um, scotch tape and then i just put little bit of glue on that panel so it will stick on my main um, card stock now somehow i'm i'm aligning it by putting it vertical and then i just again uh, uh, make it ties and then i'm just making one knot there and after making knot i'll just cut out the excess uh, the desired length of that not and then i'll add little bit of each leaves the red white and the golden one and i'll just put little bit of tombow mono there and i put all the three, three leaves uh, together now most of the times i use my blocks or for this kind of things i use the glue dots but now i make these five cards with this um, uh, maker smart this month's kate sorry the january month's kate i hope you like this project and um, you can watch more project that i use make on makers mark or something else um by how you can use the one die set or one die and make the five cards in that series these are a pretty simple and um, fast making cards you can use for fathers day mothers day valentines day anniversaries something like that heart is a shape that you can use anywhere around the year So if you like my channel do subscribe to it if you like this video um just give me a thumbs up you can go to my blog to see more pictures and details on this and uh, if you are interested just go to maker marts and see how the subscription work and uh, i'll show you more projects on valentine day and other series so until the next crafty project um have a crafty life bye bye